How do you like being associated with the religion that hates the Most High and hates his people? They give no justification for anything. See, we've been asking for years for you to show us where it says the Most High only approves 66 books. I'm going to show you right now that it's the Pope who took that authority away from the Most High. And you support that. There, he, he uses those keys of Peter. He just really stretching that use of that, you know, those keys of Peter that were supposedly left to him that gave him authority. And people don't question anything. This is your salvation. This is your relationship with the Most High. Someone just comes in and just tells you whatever, and you don't even question them. We bring you facts. We bring you scripture. We bring you, you know, history that supports everything that we say. And you just dismiss what we bring. But your pastors and these priests and these popes have been lying to you about absolutely everything. But it's okay, though, because the Most High is going to bring these receipts right now. And if you know, if you've got the courage, talk to your pastor or priest about this information. And I'm going to show you where it's the popes that have been telling you what you can and cannot read. And they've been using the keys of Peter as their justification. If you look at the top here, it says books. The inquisitors very rigorous towards them. Okay, if the least circumstance in a book is disliked, it is immediately censured, and censured considered under the uh, under three heads. An index of all books condemned published annually. Those who read prohibited books subject to the Inquisition. So you could be killed for that. Printers totally ruined and sometimes imprisoned for life. Yeah, there you go. Just for, just for, you know, printing these books, okay? Uh, Fathers of the church answered by the inquisitors and whole pages of their works castrated. Again, just like that other video I did a long time ago talking about how a lot of these priests had never even read the writings of the church fathers, but they were forced to agree to only teach the uh, scriptures that the church fathers had agreed to unanimously, which was absolutely none, which is why you can go to church your whole life and learn absolutely nothing because these priests and pastors know absolutely nothing as well. Okay. Consequences of this. Okay. Cardinal Baronis affirms that the Pope is the only lawful judge of books. See, you put your faith in a man. You haven't put your faith in the most high. You haven't put your faith in the Holy Spirit that could be sent to you to lead you to information and understanding. You have put your faith in a, in a Pope. It says right here, Cardinal Baronius affirms that the Pope is the only lawful judge of books. And he opposes Philip III of Spain on this occasion because these, these um, kings are trying to say what you can and can't read. And the Pope steps and says, hey, 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 I'm the only person that can tell people what they can read. And you trying to assert my authority is like trying to take away the keys that Saint that that you know that I got from Saint Peter. I'm telling you, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I'm like, what? But people don't question anything. He just said that that gave him the authority. And we'll look at we'll take a look at that shortly. Okay. So again, opposes Philip the Third of Spain on this occasion, asserts that it's scandalous for kings to pretend to judge of books. So the kings can't even make you know make these kinds of decisions in their own kingdoms. Only the Pope can. Says that was robbing St. Peter of his keys. Such books as exalt the authority of popes in opposition to that of kings, always favored by the see of Rome. So anything that they could use to, you know, substantiate the position the Pope is above the kings as far as what you can read, those were the books that were pushed. Okay? So maintained by Cardinal Baronius, reasons against this assertion. Okay, now we're going to take a look at this section right here. Okay, here in the middle of this top paragraph, it says, Here there says in express terms in a discourse written purposely on that subject that it is scandalous and impious for the royal judges or princes to presume to censure such books as has been approved by the Pope and to prohibit all booksellers in their dominions to sell them, that this was robbing Peter of those keys, which Jesus Christ had given him, vis-a-vis -vis that, that, uh, that of discerning between good and evil. And lastly, that the only reason 
why the ministers of Spain had prohibited his book was because he uh, he therein reported the unjust actions and usurpations of their sovereigns. Okay, so pretty much just saying that you know this was robbing Peter of those keys which Jesus Christ had given him, and of course the Pope is saying that those keys were now given to him, and he's the only one that can judge good and evil. So see, we got all these people that are just you know talking about the scriptures and the church fathers, and now pretty much it all goes back to the keys given to Peter supposedly, and supposedly given to the Pope. Do you really believe that the Most High gave authority to the Pope? That he's he was the he was God on earth. You really think that? You look at their actions. Don't look at what they say. They keep saying John three sixteen. They go to Galatians three twenty eight. They always go. There's neither Jew nor Greek, but there must be a Catholic because the Catholics are the only ones that matter. The Pope is the only one that matters. The Jews don't matter. The Israelites don't matter. No one matters except for the Pope. So see, all of you people who are just reading 66 books only, you're constantly just kissing the ring of the Pope. He's the one that's telling you what you can and cannot read. He's the one that showed you in the last video that he is, him and his church and everyone associated with it are enemies of the Most High. Enemies of the children of the Most High. But see, that's not going to go well. It went well when you were in your blessing, but it's not going to go well anymore. That's why the Most High is exposing you. He's drawing that line in the sand. He's making you decide, are you going to follow him or are you going to follow man? They always talk about how we were bringing another Christ or I have no idea how you can even talk about us being another Christ when you teach out of a book called the New Testament. You concentrate on the New Testament because you're the one bringing something new. What you are bringing has nothing to do with how the scriptures were talked about because they were given to a particular family, not to a church. There was no such thing as a pope who was a vicar of Christ here on earth. He was not the one that's telling you what you can and cannot read. That's why, like I said, you can go your whole life and go to church. You can go and sit under these pastors and priests. And at the end of your life, you'll be no better than you were when you first started going to church. Because they don't want you to search. Just like it talks about in Proverbs. I'll show you right now. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Are you searching out the matter? Are you searching the things that I am bringing forth, that I'm sharing with you? I encourage you all to share, you know, and to, cons and to take your time and search out a matter. Your pastors and priests have told you not to do that because they know that all the things they've been bringing to you do not stand up to scrutiny. That's why when I talk about other Hebrew Israelites and, you know, and they're talking about church fathers, these same church fathers hate your guts. So why would you even be worried about what the church fathers say? They use the church fathers and their teachings as a reason to put us into perpetual slavery. These people have cared nothing about the Israelites. They've used these, these so-called church fathers to justify the fact that they can tell you what you can and cannot read. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a so-called Constantine Christian. So therefore, I have no allegiance to these churches, no allegiance to the Pope, my allegiance is only to the Most High. And it is, I will search a matter out. I will not allow a man who just tells me things to dictate what I do, to dictate my path. Now, if that's what you decide to do, that's totally up to you. But it talks about in scriptures, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing. He's the one has concealed all this truth. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. It is up to you to search out a matter. You have been lied to. They're still lying to you today. They're giving you a fake dog and pony show every single day with you know these all these fear tactics that this is going to happen, this nuclear war is going to happen. Get your bug out bag ready. Get your bug out location ready, and nothing happens because scripture because prophecy has nothing to do with them. Prophecy has nothing to do with the popes, the priests, the pastors. Everything revolves around the Israelites. We have awakened. We have come back. And now the story of the Bible will continue because we have been looked upon by the Most High and we have been raised back up. Shalom.